Have you ever trained a neural network only to find it converging to zero output? It's frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the issue of neural networks converging to zero and how to troubleshoot it. I understand how disheartening it can be when your neural network performs well on a small data set but fails miserably on a larger one. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar challenges when scaling their models. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, why does my neural network converge to zero output when I switch datasets? They mentioned that their model worked perfectly on a small dataset, but struggled with a larger one. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what could be causing this issue? There are several possibilities, including local minima, weight updates, or output scaling problems. We'll break down each of these factors to help you identify the root cause. And don't go anywhere. I've got a crucial tip at the end that could change how you approach training your neural networks. To address the issue of the neural network converging to zero output, the user should first check the data distribution in the new dataset. It's important to ensure that the dataset is balanced and that there are enough positive examples for the network to learn from. Next, the user should experiment with different activation functions. Since the current implementation uses the ReLU activation function, trying alternatives like Sigmoid or TAN might help the network learn better from the data. The user should also consider adjusting the learning rate. A learning rate that is too high can cause the network to overshoot the optimal weights, while a rate that is too low can lead to slow convergence. Testing different values can help find a suitable rate. Additionally, the user might want to implement regularization techniques. Regularization can help prevent overfitting and improve the model's ability to generalize to new data. Techniques like dropout or L2 regularization can be beneficial. Finally, the user should evaluate the model's performance using different metrics. Instead of relying solely on error, using metrics like precision, recall, and F1 score can provide a better understanding of how well the model is performing. Did you know? The first neural networks were inspired by the way our brains work, but they were much simpler and less effective. We've come a long way, but some challenges remain. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests simplifying your neural network. Instead of using 10 layers, try a three-layer network with more hidden nodes. For most feedforward problems, one hidden layer is often sufficient for effective convergence. Additionally, it's recommended to reduce your learning rate to a range between 0.01 and 0.3, and to increase the number of training iterations significantly. 10 layers may be excessive for your model. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Regularly experiment with different architectures and hyperparameters. This can help you avoid local minima and improve your model's performance. And there you have it. With these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to tackle the issue of your neural network converging to zero output. Remember, experimentation is key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips. And don't miss our next video on advanced neural network techniques.